At this time, you also want to find your balance between a pain and comfortable feeling. If you feel extra painful, this is because you're using too much strength. Then reduce your strength and don't let your skin feel too much pain. Then let's deal with the unfriendly Sharpe. This is what we call a Sharpe loose skin phenomenon. Use the soft part from the root of your thumb to press with some strength toward the temple, passing the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Repeat this action three times. The last step is to lift up the whole face. We will lift up all the stored fat upward to the lymph, then press downward to the collarbone. We will use this method to massage. We will place each thumb on the center of the face, use both hands to cover the nose, then push with some strength toward the ear, passing through the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Repeat three times for this action. Now use the other hand to stretch the forehead to prevent and eliminate wrinkles. One hand is placed on the chin to hold the face steady, and the other hand will go up and down, from left to right, like so. Then from just in front of the ear, down to the collarbone. Okay, now we are done with this step. Next, let's have the model do the face contouring massage. First, warm up the facial lymph. To let the flow of the lymph be more smooth, we start from just before the ear, exercise some strength, and slide downward to the collarbone. Repeat three times for this motion. Next, use three of your fingers and place them in the center of the forehead, then push outward from the forehead. While pressing down, use both hands to slowly move to the temple, passing the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Slowly, repeat this motion three times. If you are someone with a really puffy forehead, repeat five times if necessary. Next, it's the eye massage. Use your middle finger to start from the outer corner of your eye, moving along underneath and upward to the inner corner of your eye to the brow. Then, from the inside corner of your eye, move outward to the outside corner of your eye. Make sure to use proper strength accordingly. Then, starting from the inside corner of the eye, massage from underneath the eye toward the outside corner. Press lightly there. Maintain finger and skin contact, directly slide toward the temple, passing right in front of the ear, and down to the collarbone. Repeat these motions slowly for three times. Puffy eyes and under eye bags can be improved using this motion. Next, it's the corner of the mouth. This step can improve the sagging of the corner of the mouth so that you will have a killer smile. Use your fingers to press from the center, passing both sides of the mouth, reaching the underneath of your mouth, maintain your pressure. Repeat this motion three times. You can use more strength for the area underneath your nose, but your motion should be slower so the pressure can be down to your gum. The next massage portion is both sides of your nose wing, so that you can have a higher arch of your nose. Slowly massage both sides of your nose wing three times, then push towards the arch of your nose slowly and repeat about three or four times. Next is the improvement of the lines around the mouth, also known as the nasal labial folds. Place your fingers around the center of your chin, push gently toward each side, passing the corner of the mouth and along the wing of the nose, toward the inside corner of your eyes where you will press for about three seconds. Then push toward the temple and massage downward to the collarbone. 
Repeat this three times. When you are doing this motion, if you feel pain, adjust your pressure strength. The next step is still targeting the improvement of the lines around the mouth or the nasal labial folds. Place one hand gently on the side of the face. Use the other hand to press toward the inside corner of the eye diagonally. At the inside corner of the eye, gently press down for three seconds. Reduce pressure, move towards the ear, passing along the lymph line and downward to the collarbone. Please repeat three times for this step. This motion will cause those who have extra stored fat on the face to feel slightly more pain when doing this motion. The strength should be kept at the level of balance between pain and comfort. Now, we will rest one hand and let the other hand do the work. Massage toward the inside corner of the eye with light pressure, pushing toward the side, passing the lymph line and down to the collarbone. Because our model did not have the massage lotion on, the skin appears to be a bit red and irritated. If the massage cream is used, such irritation will not occur. Don't forget my advice and massage slowly. Next, we target the portion where the nasal labial folds occur. First, both hands are extended outward horizontally. The index finger and the middle finger are perpendicular to the wing of the nose, pushing outward until the front of the ear, passing the lymph line, and down to the collarbone. Repeat this step three times. If your strength is weak, you can use a pole or a wall so that it gives you leverage to exercise with some more strength. <laughs> 